What does it look like when someone lacks empathy? What are the signs and how, how are you going to notice whether someone has empathy or not? So first of all, let's talk about empathy. So there's cognitive empathy. Cognitive empathy is understanding the perspectives of another person, understanding where they're coming from, understanding that, oh, that person's having a bad day. Oh, that person's sad. Oh, that, okay, that person is happy. Having an understanding and awareness of another person's experience or how they're showing their experience. Another type of empathy is called affective or emotional empathy. What that is, is the ability to feel another person's position, another person's perspective, the ability to to feel it. When we say to, to the world, I'm an empath, it's kind of what we're talking about. You can not only understand and have awareness of another person's perspective, but you can feel that other person's feelings really, or their the troubles, the difficulties, the happinesses, whatever it is they're going through. And then there is compassion and empathy. Compassion and empathy is acting upon empathy. It is taking both of those two other forms of empathy and taking it into action. It's the need to help, the drive to help, the desire to take what you're gathering as information what you're from the cognitive empathy, what you're feeling as an experience yourself from the effective or emotional empathy, and then applying it through compassion to help another to connect with another. And all of these forms of empathy, what they do when we are being in an empathic exchange with another person is it creates connection, it creates safety, it creates an awareness of the other person that goes deeper than just what's happening to them in the moment. It's, it's like saying you matter and I care. So now when we say a narcissist doesn't have empathy, they have the ability usually to have cognitive understanding of what someone is going through. So they do possess cognitive empathy most of the time. They have the awareness that you're hurting, the awareness that you're suffering, that you're happy, that you're sad, whatever. But the thing is, when we say they know, but they don't care, that's what we're talking about. They have the cognitive awareness of it. They lack the effective or emotional empathy, and they lack the compassionate empathy. And without those two things, there is no real deep and true connection. There's no ability to connect to another human being through an empathic ex exchange, through both of you exchanging and feeling for one another. So when we say they lack empathy, what we mean is that they lack the other two forms of empathy that allow healthy relationships. How can you have an argument with someone if you lack empathy, if you lack the ability to listen to the other person with compassionate empathizing and then and and allow that to have an effect on you that gives you a perspective of their position in the argument. When you're in a romantic relationship, I'm talking about, or a child and parent relationship, how can you have that exchange and have it be healthy without that? It would be pretty cold otherwise. It would be pretty one-sided otherwise. And that's what happens with a narcissist is the arguments become very one-sided because sure, they get why you're upset. They understand that you are feeling what you're feeling. They don't have the other forms of empathy, which means they only care about what they feel in the situation. They're like, yes, yeah, so what? So you're upset or I actually like it that you're upset because that gave me power because now I feel big and powerful. So lack of empathy when we speak of it as it applies to narcissistic people is an inability to consider the emotional state. They do not form deep emotional connections because of this. So they don't form an emotional connection to the feelings of other people that they witness. So while they may witness it, they don't form a connection to that feeling that allows deeper empathy to take place. So let's look at some signs, which you might see if someone lacks empathy, because a lot of times when you're talking about a covert narcissist here, let's talk about that and back up a second. So if we're talking about a covert narcissist, an altruistic narcissist, a communal narcissist, or a narcissist that plays the victim, they will appear to have empathy. They will cognitive empathy. They will allow that to be seen. They will look like they have compassionate empathy because they will do things for people. They will do acts of kindness for people. They will 
say things that sound like they are expressing empathy. When it, it comes down to it, what they're doing is expressing what looks like empathy, but their motives and their intentions, you will find out, are selfish, self-focused intentions. In other words, they need to look good in front of a group of people so that people see them a certain way. They need, they give donations or gifts or, or anything like that in order to secure supply, in order to have people thank them and praise them, in order to hook supply on the hook by baiting someone and grooming them through gift giving. These are the types of things that will happen. It looks to us like an empathic person, but really it's just somebody using what they've witnessed other people doing when they show empathy for self gain. Someone who has empathy that isn't doing that, it is not narcissistic. There is no, there is no reward. There is no gain other than helping the other person or giving to the other person. So, so let's look at the signs of lacking empathy, not listening to others opinions or perspectives. They may listen with their ears, but they do not listen with awareness, with understanding, and with a deeper listening that is required for someone to feel heard. They're not listening from a place of, wow, what are you actually saying? I wonder how that impacts things. Tell me more about it. Or, oh, you're feeling that? I wonder why you're feeling that. What's going on? Talk to me about what you're, there's no back and forth. They're like, yeah, you're upset, okay. It's not, it's not a deep listening. It's a surface listening that doesn't feel like you're being heard when you're on the receiving end of it. Emotional inability to cope with their own emotional reactions. In other words, they stomp their feet, they act like children, they have explosive tempers, they have emotional dysregulation that seems over the top. They tell you you're too sensitive, but they're the ones acting extremely sensitive when you say one criticism or one critique. They get defensive and shut down when there's any emotional exchange. Or you get super close to them, you feel super close to them, you're intimate with them, you are um, lovey-dovey, and suddenly they slam the door on that, and they turn away, they run away, they walk away, whatever it is, they go cold, because they don't have the ability to actually have empathy and connect. It was just them taking from you, and now they're tired of that, and they shut it down or they don't want to deal with the feelings that are actually coming up, having anything to do with anyone else, so they shut it down. They have no patience and they have a dismissal of other people's emotional lives. They'll dismiss you, they'll degrade you, they'll devalue you when you have an emotional experience at, that is shared or they witness. They will blame others for what they're experiencing emotionally or what you are experiencing emotionally, like they'll project and they'll blame. So if they are, if they're feeling angry that you called them on something that was a behavior that was hurtful, they'll say, you always turn things into an argument instead of saying, oh, I'm hearing you say that what I did was hurtful. Let's talk about it. They'll say, why do you turn everything into an argument? So they'll dismiss and blame. They're very critical and judging of others in a way that shows they're better than other people. And yeah, that's a narcissistic trait, but it's also showing that they don't have empathy for other people's experience in life, right? When they are confronted or things don't go their way, a person who lacks empathy will emotionally dump or emotionally get explosive or emotionally shut down and go silent they will not have these deep emotional conversations they won't own up to anything they won't take accountability for anything especially anything emotional they accuse other people very often maybe they accused you of being too sensitive you have a reaction to something they did that caused pain hurt or upset and they tell you you are too sensitive they cannot relate beyond the understanding that you are upset to the emotional life that you have and the fact that 
what they've done and how they've acted might have contributed to your pain, suffering, or upset. And they don't care because they don't have the ability to actually feel what you feel and show compassion through that. Can't admit they're wrong. They cannot admit it. They can't accept or take any blame. They like to destroy others' happiness. They can't even empathize with you when you're happy. They see your happiness as something to tear down usually because they're not the source of it, because they can't get in and have it, because it's, they see it, they want it, they can't have it because they can't feel it with you. Do you know when you're with someone who's really, really happy and maybe you're not in such a great mood or you're just kind of blah, and it's a little bit infectious, especially if you care about them. If you care about someone and they're in a happy mood and you feel happy for them, you're not thinking about yourself. You're thinking about, wow, I'm really happy for them. Like I had someone that I care about moving away. I don't want them to move away. My feelings myself around it are kind of like, oh, that's awful, no but I see how much joy it's bringing them and I'm super happy for them. Does that make sense? I'm excited for their new adventures and their life and what they're going to do. That is an example of empathy. A toxic person is going to see that as a threat to them or see that other person's happiness as something they can't have and get angry with it and try and destroy it. Another thing that I'll add on here when people lack empathy they can be defensive and argumentative just by nature like their whole demeanor can be that way or it can be covert where you only see it when they're confronted these are just a few signs of what someone who lacks empathy may show on a regular basis these may be the patterns that you see over and over again that show that a person is not empathizing everyone can have a bad day sure but I'm talking about when you see things over and over and over, when you're looking for patterns here, we're not looking for first offense and, and someone lacks empathy and we know the answer. I'm Lise Colucci, one of the life coaches at Queen Being. All the information about me, about coaching and about group coaching is in the main description of every video. Have you experienced being around someone who regularly lacks empathy? What does that feel like when you're experiencing it? What does it feel like to have that in your life and how does it make you feel about yourself even so let me know in the comments below hit the thumbs up hit subscribe and i will see you guys next time take care bye bye